How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm doing a review for double review of Transformers Legacy Shockwave and Gentoo Megatron. Just because he is um, Megatron here is a just a repaint of the previous Megatron, which I'll try to put that review in the description down below. So I probably won't be going over it fully, just we'll see what happens. But as you can see, you got the, the Megatron's tank world there, Transformers, Automat Symbol, Legacy, Legacy. Kind of nice that work right there. There's a robot mode. And of course, we got that. And both modes and legal bullshit. <sighs> and the same thing with Shockwave. He has vehicle mode here. All the lettering, the name, artwork. Nice single artwork there. Both modes and bullshit. So... The Shockwave will be fun. Oh, well, actually, both of these guys are going to be fun to open up. So, let's go ahead and get them out of the box and check them out. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. And so, first off, we have Shockwave out of the box. And he looks really good in the purples, the silver. The seven gun symbols here. Uh, monochronic eye. The single eye beanie. We see the... The story behind his head. I explained that in the IDW comics. No, well, I would like to see them give us a shockwave, a pre Decepticon shockwave. That would be freaking awesome. But he comes with a satellite dish, which is weird, but okay. And we have instructions, which they do a good job showing you how to transform. I didn't use it, so eh, whatever. I have collected, I think I said before, probably numerous times. I've been collecting transformers for quite a bit, quite a long time, so. Usually, I don't have a problem transforming them back and forth. Very rarely do I have to go to the instructions for something. Personally, I think it's part of the fun. But, it does look really, really good. Uh, this transformation is a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. You're going to bring the arms up like this and like this. I fold these wings out in the back. And you bring this all the way up. And that's gonna yeah, I'll bring this part out too. Did I miss something? Oh, there we go. Bring that up when you push the head down, it pops that part out. Now, I did myself, you do have to rotate the arms so that these pegs are facing downward like that. Cause they're going to go into these holes right here. We have to do 360 all the way around. And they will peg in. Just like that. And the, arm, the leg. 
legs here. You just kind of rotate the bottom of the legs and bring them up like that. And they click in. I think there's a peg in there. Yep, see there's a peg a slot. Hold a hole right there and there. down which I think is supposed to I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be uh, this is gun mode gunship mode whatever take the dish and it just kind of pegs in right there This is ship mode. Pop that out. Those do want to kind of pop out a lot. That's fine. It's supposed to be able to be held like that, but I don't have any zip guns on my desk anymore, so I really can't showcase that. And I don't, honestly, I don't think the bigger cons will. The smaller Decepticons won't be able to hold him without it dropping down. I wonder. Grab me a couple of blast effects. Nope, that won't work. But the blasters and the wings. Those do work. So that's a bit fun. I'm just gonna put him off to the side, and we're gonna look at. Gen 2 Universe Megatron, which I'm not really, I'm liking this, but there just seems to be a lot going on that irritates me. First off, he just gets a gun. That's gonna call it, does pick into his hand. I didn't show the satellite plugging into Sharkway Sand, I don't think. I don't remember. And he also comes with the instructions, but I don't need them. We've had this mold before in version one of Megatron, so. Fine. The green and the purples look really nice. I have the original Gen 2 Megatron and I have the Beast Wars Neo. Megastorm, I think he's called. So, this is not something I haven't already seen before. And I wonder if I got the. Was there a select version of this? Version of the green and purple colored Megatron from the Siege mold. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, Ball 
joints, ball joints, ball joints everywhere as he rotates. Like I said, I think it's before we've seen this mold before. Uh, I'll put the description down below the version one Megatron of this review. So if you want to watch how he transforms, you can go to that one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in his tank mode to showcase that, and probably get Shockwave back into his robot mode. So I'll be right back. I'm not even gonna bother with rating for him. He's fine. He's got a few little pegging issues. Ball joints being a bit on the looser side. No other flopping about, but you no. Know, if you really like the paint applications of the Gen 2 Megatron, pick it up. Shockwave is definitely worth picking up. Uh, I can't say I don't like this Megatron. He's good. Shockwave is so much better. Uh, are they worth giving? Yes. Well, as I said, he's much better. Uh, Fusion Cannon can't hold a blast effect. Huh. Nice pop. But I see this with a purple face. So Shockwave Engine 2 Megatron. Worth getting. If you like this video, like Shockwave and Gen 2 Megatron. Let me know uh, in the comments below which one's your favorite. And just make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you hit all notifications so you get all my videos, not just one or two randomly here or there. Uh, and just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.